who isn't familiar with it? Most gaming headsets usually offer crappy audio quality. Regular headphones, on the other hand, often sound pretty decent, but don't come with a microphone to make them suitable for gaming sessions with others. Another scenario, you go out in public, put your gaming headset on, but it quickly attracts a bit of attention and weird, unpleasant looks due to a too aggressive design and that microphone that sticks out. What if you could just attach an external microphone to any headphones out there and detach it anytime you decide to go out? In other words, you're basically given the option to transform your standard regular headphones into a most likely overall better gaming headset. I am therefore proudly presenting you the SD2420 slash Sahara Mic 2 by the brand Sahara Gaming. It isn't necessarily that cheap though, at about 45 US dollars currently, but there's probably more than meets the eye for some of you out there. This isn't a truly new idea or concept however. A few years back we've seen similar and maybe even comparable products on the market, but it's impossible for me to do a proper comparison because I simply lack the review samples. The unboxing experience certainly is a whole lot more exciting than with many other products, for sure. The product along with all of its accessories is inside this surprisingly high quality carrying case with a zipper, so we can neatly store the mic and travel with it. Inside of it is the actual microphone in question, safely tucked away. A small alcohol cleaning pad along with cable clips, extra adhesive and a spare piece. Last but not least, a quick manual with instructions for such a complex product. First, let's get some of the more technical aspects out of the way. The Sahara Mic 2 or even SD2420 simply connects via a simple 3.5mm audio connector, therefore can be used together with all kinds of devices such as PCs, laptops, Macs, even phones and consoles as long as there's a 3.5mm jack available. And I'm deliberately mentioning that because certain devices, especially many laptops out there, come with just a single 3.5mm combo port for headsets. Meaning that in certain cases you will need to use a Y splitter cable to get both an audio output as well as audio input. At a price of $45, it sure would have been nice if the manufacturer included such a splitter cable to make things more convenient for us consumers. For the polar pattern, Sahara Gaming states unidirectional, so it's supposed to record from only one direction. But practically speaking, the SD2420 more so resembles an omnidirectional pickup pattern, therefore doesn't cancel out background noise as well as the manufacturer advertises. However, to be fair, for microphones of this type, it's not that big of a deal, since this simply isn't supposed to act as a studio mic by any means. The cable length is at roughly 3 meters and the overall build quality certainly is worth praising. The microphone boom arm, or stem as I like to call it, is flexible and can be adjusted to one's liking. By loosening the first clasp, I quickly had to discover that there's not just a thread, but a spring keeping everything in place. That way you could steplessly change the position of the holder easily and even attach the holder the other way around. The choice basically is up to you, whether you wish to attach the microphone on the left or right ear cup. Something I'm never a fan of is when you have to glue things into place with adhesive tape. No matter if LED strips or anything else. But needless to say, a magnetic solution simply wouldn't work here due to most headphone ear cups being out of plastic. So the solution isn't exactly elegant, but surely effective. Once you've attached the adhesive with the base onto your headphones, we can easily unlock and lock, or attach and detach the microphone from the headphones in a matter of a second or two. This way you don't need to have a mic on you when you don't need to have it with you. Very well, the mechanical and theoretical part certainly sounds promising. So there's only one thing left to discuss, and that would be how good the SD2420 actually sounds like. Which is why I will now stop recording with my studio microphone and will instead switch to the Sahara Mic 2 for the remainder of this video. I haven't touched the recorded audio in any way. I haven't cleaned it up or have done any polishing with it. 
The only thing I did was adjust the volume level so the voiceover audio tracks of this video are equally as loud. Every one of you can now get your own impression on the audio quality of the SD2420. If you want to know my opinion on it, the recording quality does not impress me. In terms of quality, the SD2420 maybe is a bit above average compared to other cheap external microphones out there. Of course, I need to remain and rate fairly at a price of $45 and that small size, expecting outstanding amazing audio simply is unrealistic. The size certainly does limit the outcome. So spending those $45 alone for the achieved audio surely doesn't make the most sense. It seems to me as if the brand Sahara Gaming, for the most part, focused mostly on the concept behind this product, basically to offer an attachable as well as detachable microphone for any kind of headphone pair out there. Nonetheless, I'd say they're still targeting a fairly niche audience. Basically something along the lines of gamer by night, music listener by day, without attracting any attention in public. Having a gaming headset on with a microphone sticking out might look a little silly and you for sure would harvest a few curious looks. So I have some mixed feelings about this Sahara Gaming SD 2420, but I still see its appeal and use case, which is why I still can recommend picking up this Sahara Mic 2. For gaming sessions with voice chats, the result should still be good enough and the mic definitely will perform better than certain others we know of. With that being said, thank you so much for watching guys and I guess I'll catch you in the next one.